Well, we haven't got results yet. The dress is going up. I believe it starts tomorrow, uh, today actually, <laughs> tomorrow, today, what day am I in? Tomorrow, uh, the, the auction starts today and I also have another auction on there with uh, Jane, it's Jane Kaczmarek's organization. We're also doing another auction for uh, Red Cross as well for the Haiti earthquake. Well, Jane is great. She was on the show Malcolm in the Middle. We've been friends for years, and we first worked together when the tsunami happened, and then I was in the airport leaving New York, flying out here to L.A. the day after the, uh, day after the earthquake, and I was just sitting there watching all the devastation on TV, and I just said, I I I we got to do something. I called Jane's assistant. She had Jane on the phone in like 10 minutes. And I said, we got to help. We got to help. Let's do something for Haiti, and she was like, you know what? That's a great idea. Let's. So we were first, first on the boat for that. We really... We've gotten some great dresses in, so you can go to Close Off Our Back, www.closeoffourback.org, and you can buy Christina Hendricks' dress, which is from the SAG Awards, which will go to women's charities. And you can also go to closeoffourback.org, and you can buy a bunch of other celebrity memorabilia and dresses and clothes, and that's going to go to help the Red Cross for Haiti Relief, and they need some relief over there. Jane Kaczmarek just does a great job with Close Off Our Back. Well, fortunately, nobody was really sagging at the SAG Awards, but I, I've been working all week with the, uh, with the folks at Degree, and we got together and did this dress for Christina Hendricks from Mad Men, and they won, which was so remarkable. There's nothing like, you know, working on something when the person wins. Nobody wants to work with a loser. <laughs> So, and, and actually, this has just been a great year because I've been friends with Sandra Bullock for years and Drew Barrymore, and to see them both winning time after time at the Golden Globes, the SAG Awards, is so exciting. And, uh, you know, I'd have to say it was a pretty good night the other night. I actually liked the dresses at the SAG Awards a lot better than Golden Globes. Golden Globes were all these kind of origami and very stiff and structured kind of wedding cake dresses. They look like wedding cakes, half of them, no? <laughs> Chloe Sevigny had all those ruffles going on. Chloe Sevigny changed at the, for the parties, and we were hanging out with her with Grace Jones at the HBO party, and she looked so much better in the second dress. I was like, what were you thinking in that first one? It was like a, she drowned in a tsunami of ruffles. But the SAG Awards, I just thought everybody was so beautiful, and there was such a variety of color, which I love. I think, you know, you always want to dare to make a statement, and color is a great way to make a statement. I love Christina Hendricks' red dress, and there were a lot of red dresses the other night, Edie Falco and Joan Allen, and I loved Carrie Mulligan from An Education. That beautiful Lam Van dress was so cute with the, with the little diamante pins at the waist. That's a great way to get it. That's one of my other tips, actually, is you know, putting pins on a dress, but I'll get to that one next. So red was a, red was a really great statement color, and I love that um, Diane Kruger's dress from Inglorious Bastards. That beautiful marigold color, did you see that? That's a hard color to wear, but she really pulled it off. And the funny thing was, I've worked with Cheryl Hines a lot, also from Curb Your Enthusiasm. They basically had the same dress on, but Cheryl's was this oceanic green-blue color, and hers was in satin, and Diane Kruger's was in marigold, but they were two different designers, I believe, but it was like the same dress. It's very odd, very odd to see. I was like, wait a minute, I've seen that dress tonight. <laughs> I love Drew Barrymore's dress, too. The makeup, not so much. You know, I, I think that most of these girls have good style to start with. You know, we obviously have the people that are like, I don't like clothes. My mother was a fashion person. I've never liked clothes. But really, you know, I've been very fortunate. You know, I've worked with the, the most glamorous women in the world. I, I'd have to say Barbara Streisand was a little difficult. The guys are the worst. I worked with Michael Jordan. He was really difficult. And the worst was Dennis Miller. I, I hate to say negative, but... Those two really, it's, it's a shame. Dennis Miller was so mean, but he wears a size 7 shoe that might say something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't know. I'll let y'all, you know, do the math. Uh, yeah, just mean. Oh, I, don't, I don't like stylists. I don't want to wear clothes. Oh, I can wear what I'm wearing. Da, da, da. And LL Cool J, I worked with him too, and I was really surprised because I'm a major fan. You know, he's a hometown boy from New York, and... You know, I, he just was like, I wear triple XL. It's like, mm, no, you're really not that big. XL would be fine. I wear triple XL. It's like, mm, yeah. You know, and he's like, I'm not wearing it if it's not triple XL. It's like, you know, I think sometimes in Hollywood, people just get so caught up in their own hype that they don't realize everybody's here doing a job. We're there trying to make their day. You know, I'm just there to make it best for them. I don't have an ego involved in this. I don't really care. I, I'm dressed. <laughs> I look cute. I, you know, I ain't worried about myself. I'm trying to make you have a good day. So uh, it's very, 
sad when they when they don't get that. But you know, I, I also I always try and find ways to bring that kind of red carpet glamour to people at home. I actually got together with the folks from Degree this week. I've been working with them, putting together this list of five tips that I wanted to share with the, with the viewers at home. Can we do that? All right, so first one I'm going to say is dare to make a statement with color. Color, 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 which we talked about already, but I just I can't say it enough. And if, you, if you're scared to wear an all red dress or a marigold yellow and you want to wear something black because we all know it's a little slimming and forgiving, do a red shoe like Mariska Hargitay's or do a great, you know, green bag or, you know, some great peacock blue bag, something that'll pop, like Sandy Bullock had that beautiful Alexander McQueen dress with the blue beading on it. Do a blue beaded bag, something like add the color in, in the accessory if you can't do it in the dress, if you're scared. Another fashion faux pas that I can't stand, there's three of them actually, three no-nos, big no-nos. Wetness marks, we don't want to see that unless it's raining out. You know, we had a lot of that at the Golden Gloves. We don't want to see those underarm wetness marks. We all have had it happen. We go in for a job or something, we're a little nervous, and we want to avoid that. And those white marks underneath from the deodorant, have you noticed everybody's in a strapless gown or an asymmetrical gown? Nobody wears sleeves anymore. <laughs> Oh, the backless, that Kate Hudson dress was amazing. But you don't want that white stuff coming, you know, on your dress or, you know, even guys on your underneath, you know, when you're wearing a sleeveless, uh, you know, shirt or something. Just want to keep all that away. And perspiration odor, not a good one. I always suggest Degree Women Ultra Clear Red Satin is the new fragrance. So it's uh, Degree Women Ultra Clear Red Satin. And I love the fragrance because it's fresh, but it doesn't fight with your perfume. You know, sometimes deodorants, the smell just fights with your perfume and you're like, mm, I'm smelling a lot going on here. That's a great one. My next tip is, you know, accessories. Like I say, add the pop of color with a bag or with a great earring or a great shoe. Or you can do like a great metallic shoe or a simple black pump. Here's a great, great tip. I'm all about transformational fashion. You know, we don't want to spend a lot of money and then only be able to wear something once. So get a great black pump or a silver pump and then get clip-on earrings and you can just put the earrings on your shoe. You could put them up in your hair like Christina Applegate did with her diamante pins up in her hair beautiful look or you can put them on as little satin purse for another time where I'm on a blazer where I'm on a simple black dress I want things that you know people can buy for like 10 15 bucks and then you can reinvent you know you want to reinvent things make them look different nobody wants to see the same outfit here she comes in that dress again do something different with it Think ahead. That's tip number four. Think ahead. Try on your undergarments. Try on your bras. Try on your panties. Your shape shifters, your flexies from maiden form, or your Hanes. You know, everybody's got the, you know, Spanx. We love the Spanx. Everybody wants to feel good. Even if you're skinny, you just, the women just love them out here in Hollywood because you feel like you're pulled in and you don't have little bumps and, and little things. It, well, it, not even because nowadays the technology is so great. It's flexible. You can move a course that you're like, uh, 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 uh. And also with the beauty tips, think ahead. Nothing worse than a bad faux tan when you're looking orange like an Oompa Loompa. Bad, bad, bad. Do your tan in advance so if it's bad, you can go get it fixed. Dye your hair the day before I had a bad prom date. Yes, I've had a bad prom date. My, my date dyed her hair the day of the prom and she had green hair and she had to go that, not that green like she wanted, it was that bad blondie green. Didn't work. So dye your hair, do your nails, all that stuff, try in advance. You want to have fun. You know you're going to that wedding. You know you're going to that birthday party. Take 20 minutes. Get your wardrobe tried on in advance. Do your hair the day before. Don't wait till last minute. You don't want bad hair days. It's very interesting this year. You know, the beaded dresses are definitely a little out. We're not seeing a lot of beaded glitz. Olivia Wilde at Golden Globes wore that beaded dress. It was gorgeous. Tony Collette was in a beaded dress. Gorgeous. But we're not seeing a lot of beading. We've been seeing a lot of these very structured, futuristic, origami-esque dresses. At the Golden Globes, we saw so many of those. I think those have had their better moment. I think people are going to, because everybody had them on, so I think they'll shy away from that. I think it's going to be this kind of, we're a little tired of the Grecian look. I think it's going to be this vintage 50s, 40s look like Christina Hendricks gown, this, this one shoulder red dress with the bow, or like even like, you know, I think Cheryl Hines and, and Diane Kruger's dresses were very 40s inspired. Sandy Bullock's was very 40s. I think we might go more that way. Uh, we'll see definitely some of these structured looks. 
but I definitely think it's going to be more romantic and more vintage classic Hollywood vibe. And, and I think, you know, a great way for readers, at, uh, for your listeners, readers, I keep saying, for your listeners and viewers at home, they can go to www.closeoffourback.org. It's an organization put together by Jane Kaczmarek from Malcolm in the Middle. And we're doing an auction. You can get Christina Hendricks' dress. Hey, why not buy some Hollywood, you know, memorabilia and look great at the same time and do good. All the proceeds from her dress will go to help various women's charities. And we have several other organ uh, auctions going on on, on closeoffourbat.org, which will go to help the Red Cross for Haiti relief. You know, it, it's so trying. And people say, you know, how can you talk about all this glamour when all this tragedy in Haiti? You know, we do our best, and you gotta, you got to enjoy life. So you have the good with the bad. we got to have the glamour and the, and the good.